Hey guys, it's me, Eudy Gibby here, and in this video, I want to go through the top characters of every single path in Honkai Star Rail. We did this before in the past, but now I want to do an updated one in 2.5, especially since we have like many, many different new characters in the game as well. So first up, shall we go in order? Let's just go like hunt, destruction, and then we go in order. So we will name in every single category the top character and like an honorable mention. And as always, feel free to leave me in the comments below if you guys also have a differing opinion and you want to share your thoughts as well. Let's start first things first off with the hunt category shall we let's go into the hunt path um i think i already have like in my mind like who i want to select in my opinion let's do an honorable mention first and then we will go into like the top one so honorable mention i think topaz and Nambi is probably very close to the top the reason why i don't put topaz and Nambi higher is you really can't just take topaz and Nambi and like carry your entire team so that's one of the the huge things but she is like probably some people will rate her number one some people will rate her number two a very strong supportive uh support unit follow-up teams very very good as well some of you who have her e1s1 I think you'll be like finding this unit fantastic. Uh, very, very solid pickup. It's fun fact, you know, this unit actually got better with time. When she first started out with Ting Liu's patch, everyone was like pulling for Ting Liu. No one cared about Topaz and Nambi back then. And then after that, her second rerun, her third rerun, and the, her value just like kept increasing and increasing, which we actually talked about way back in like 1.4, 1.5, I don't know when, way back then. We talked about investment value of Topaz and Nambi, the videos we always do on our channel, and her value as we talked about there did increase over time as well. Um, so it's very nice. The other character, I think the best character currently in Hunt category, and it's like right now in 2.5, right? So it's a huge change already. I think Face Xiao is probably my top pick for Hunt class characters um, because she's just like such a strong, good DPS can carry accounts. E0, S0 works extremely well already. So I really like it a lot. I think it's like really, really fantastic. Um, Face out probably my top pick in the hunt category as well. Um, next up, let's go into the second one, which will be, I keep clicking the wrong thing. Uh, let's go into destruction. Destruction is probably a bit trickier. Um, I think best, okay, best we all know, right? This one, let's just talk about best first. Firefly is probably currently best in slot for, for destruction. She's able to implant fire weaknesses. So for any downside of Ting Liu, for example, enemy doesn't have uh, ice weakness. Firefly doesn't care about all that. She does most of it herself. Does great amounts of damage. Can carry accounts to a super, super strong unit as well. But if you're talking about the honorable mention right now, um, it, I am actually torn because Yun Li, Blade, Ting Liu, in Baibatu Lune, they do all like have their own category their own purpose um so i'm actually not going to choose any of the other five stars because to choose one and put them above the other is like not really fair to the rest of them in fact i probably my personal bias i probably say like auto mention is like sure eat this unit is very solid for a four star character skills with break can play in the break teams has colorless breaking great dps as well uh, just a really very versatile destruction character especially for any of you newer players as well um but that doesn't mean the other destruction characters are bad it's just that this is probably one that is super versatile super cheap to build a rank so you can like spend your resources elsewhere um that is my honest opinions and of course let me know in the comments below if you guys have like another opinion of why maybe it's nice to like justify why certain characters should be ranked number one or honorable mention but um yeah that's just my thoughts honorable mention is just like who i feel should deserve a, a quick mention so erudition characters ah uh, erudition is really tough right we don't really have like too many fantastic ones i honestly don't have a bias between all of them in fact in fact I would actually rate like Himiko probably my top pick for erudition, but this is a top pick in terms of like game state, right? He, to me, Himiko is a, it's probably gonna be an honorable mention straight away because very, very efficient, cost effective. You could argue that Herta and Himiko will fill up the top two spots because of cost effectiveness. They're able to do so much, help you clear like pure fiction content for the fact that they are standards as well as a total free to play character. So very, very good value already um, for these two characters in my opinion. Between the two of them, honorable mention, uh, I, I feel like putting Herta or Himiko. So, okay, both of them. Let's just put both of them. Both of them here are honorable mentions in the erudition slot. But the top pick, I think it's very difficult to like choose between the three of them. J is like relatively niche, right? Ting Yuan is also like relatively not, not as used widely as today. Even Ting Che is also great. Argenti is like also okay. It, okay, this is the only category, only path that I will not call a straight up winner. I maybe will just put like the straight up winner as Herta for this section just because she's so cheap, she can do so much for so on the basis of cost effectiveness, Herta will be my top pick for erudition. Honorable mention is Himiko because she's a standard character that does so much as well. Um cheap to build, 
not very very difficult tackles ice and fire content in your pure fiction game modes i think these two are like a solid duo in my opinion that's probably going to be my top pick and uh, honorable mention but feel free to disagree i think this one can really go either way erudition is like no one is a super outlier but uh harmony on the other hand this is a fun one so on the other hand where erudition was everyone was like kind of okay harmony everyone is good right everyone is so strong um i think top pick right now in the game state probably will go to Robin, especially with the arrival of Fei Xiao. So Fei Xiao does tip the balance away from Brick more into follow-up attacking DPS. Um, Robin is probably now higher than Runmei. So it's really, really strong. She is super strong right now. Um, second place, of course, honorable mention, I think Runmei is definitely there. Um, these two are pretty much your top two right now in the game. And I don't think anyone can disagree. Doesn't mean that your other Harmony characters are not very useful. Sparkle, very great hyper carry DPS. Bronya, still very, very good hyper carry DPS. And all of them have a use here or there. Even your Harmony MC could even be like an honorable mention. So all of them are really great. But the top two right now, probably first place goes to Robin. And second place, in my opinion, goes to Runme. And that's my selection in that order. Um, next up, we have Nihility characters. Top pick, okay. This one is like without a doubt, right? No one can disagree with this. I think uh, Akron is probably like top pick in the Nihility category. Just a super, super damaging monster. Really, really strong. Honorable mention is a bit tougher. Um, I think it's like the battle between the four of them really depends on what is your angle. Because Nihility as a classification is split into three different camps, right? You have your crit DPSs, you have your DOT characters, and then you have your supportive characters like these three. So in each of these categories, you have one of them kinder in the camp, except your DPS, Arcarus like the only DPS. So if you're talking about best debuffer, honorable mention, I would argue now that Silver Wolf is not as valuable as she was before. A lot of characters can uh, implant weaknesses themselves. They are meta like Boot Hill, Firefly, they can implant weaknesses themselves. You don't really need too much of that Silver Wolf weakness implanting anymore. So in the honorable mention for the debuffing category, I would say Telltale ranks higher right now in the game state because he does have like a very solid place in the roster right now. For between these two, Kafka and Black Swan, it's very, very tricky to call an honorable mention because they are both very excellent. One is more geared towards like offensiveness. She has a bit of defense breaking. Kafka is geared more towards like longevity. If you were to talk about right now in the game state honorable mention, probably, probably I would say Black Swan is like slightly higher, but these two are like, depends whether, are you playing long game? Are you playing a shorter game? Depends on what is your angle of doing things. I think it's like more or less the same for Nihility categories. And those are like my thoughts for Nihility elements as well. Um, Preservation, this is a, okay, maybe we do preservation last because it's a bit more contentious, debatable. The one that is interesting is Abundance. Top pick right now for Abundance probably I would say is, ooh, it's half Gallagher or Ho Ho, right? Um, cost effectiveness wise, Okay, they they are they talk take my top two spots. Ho Ho, I think I'll put it as number one. She gives a lot of energy battery to the rest of the team. Super versatile, can fit into like super many, many teams. Great on auto battle also. Has a lot of cleanse. And um, the attack and, and buffing that she does for the rest of the team is really, really good. Gallagher, on the other hand, excellent in break teams. Outside of that, he is finding it tough to compete against Ho Ho, especially for five star stats. But um, E6 Gallagher, for any of you who have him at E6, very solid character, very great as well. I think this is probably an honorable mention in the current game state right now for Abundance. Last but not least, we have Preservation. This is a tough one. Um, of course, whoa, why do we have so little characters? Am I unselecting something? Where is my... Or maybe it's because March 7 was taken out because March 7 is converted. But uh, I didn't realize that we actually had so little preservation characters. We only have one preservation character, which is like March 7, right? And she's not here now. So everything is like five stars. That's just interesting to see. But um, out of all the preservation characters, I think... I think it's, it's these two, right? It's, it's competing mainly between these two. Fire MC, Hunt... Uh, Fire MC as well as like March 7, Preservation, Japat. They are definitely nowhere com competing with these two. Between them, I would say currently in the game state, Adventuring ranks higher. He's definitely my top pick for preservation. Follow-up is just way more meta right now. Uh, imaginary also has its place. He does both. He does imaginary damage from the weakness bar, as well as he also has uh, ability to like give the massive shield. He debuffed the enemy, great for Akron teams. So uh, Adventure is like totally pull up my meta right now. Very strong. But uh, honorable mention definitely is going to be Fushen. And this is like probably a character that I think has been in honorable mention for more often than not than first place in terms of like the defensive characters. She was like number one for a while, but then of course, I think that she will always be like around the second spot throughout the, the course of Honkai Star Rules 
uh, lifetime perhaps. But um, Fu Shen, honorable mention, and those are probably my top picks. Let's talk about something else. One last thing I want to say, best character in the game right now, if you could only have one and keep one, I think probably Akron is the top pick to like vertically invest uh, in. I have never seen a character so strong at E2-S1 in Honkai Star Rail so far um, out of all the characters in the game. This character at E2-S1 just really, really destroys the entire game. So out of all that we mentioned, probably my top pick will be an Akron at E2-S1. Um, very, very monstrous. And yeah, that's just a for fun ranking of all the different characters. Let me know you guys' thoughts as well. I think I'll be interested to know about them. Leave me in the comments below and check out these two other videos, which I think will be very interesting for you. And thank you again so much for watching. See you next video.